All right, here's the original raw footage out of the camera in Adobe Premiere. And what I've done is I've already went through uh, this is this is this year's display, and uh, I went through and basically turned off the effects on each layer. So the first thing you notice is is this thing isn't quite level. At the bottom, uh, the tripod's got a an actual level sort of apparatus on it but uh due to the snow that we had uh, i had to move the tripod over and you can tell i didn't level it out so the first thing i had to do is go through and look at the motion tab here and what you'll see is rotation negative three now right now i've got it turned off but as soon as i flip this you can see on the screen how it went ahead and rotated it over a little bit i might have did a little too much but Notice how you see the black here, and then you see what it actually got captured. This is because it's picked up a lot of noise in here. So what we can do is we can come through and you want to shoot the video down low enough that you, uh, you know, don't have too much overexposure. Like some of these edges are a little bit white, so it's a little overexposed. So I probably needed to go back and shoot it a little bit less. But that's what I was talking about trying to get your colors right, you know. Because like uh, this pixel here, pixel matrix, this thing is so much brighter than anything else that any time it comes on, it automatically drowns out everything else. So the camera sees everything on this pretty much as white. In fact, uh, if I go to some of the video, you'll see down here and you'll see in a reflection, you can see that it's like red, blue, and, gr and green there. But this almost always comes up white. So what you could do is come back, record the matrix by itself, the same songs and you could come in and down here at the bottom you'll see there's different layers you could put like in video 2 you could put your uh, matrix layer on there then come back with what they call a garbage mask and that'll pretty much say I only want to see this area on video 2 and you can come in here and you can adjust all your colors and you'll have a perfect looking matrix and it won't drown anything else out and it'll be accurate because you're going to sync it up to your music. So, you know, the amount of light that this thing puts off down in the snow and everything like that, it'll look natural. But this thing will actually be the right color, so it'll look good. I haven't got to that point yet, but that's where I'm planning on going with it. This is kind of an earlier type of thing. So what we did is we turned on. If we want to turn it off, you can see what it does. You can turn it back on. And what I've done is I've went through and... Uh, just pretty much turned off what I'm using right now. Here's a four point garbage mask I was talking about earlier. And what I'm doing is, is I'm pretty much when we turn this on, you'll see how it disappears around here. And what the garbage mask is actually doing for us is you can see it right here. It says, I only want to see this part on the layer. And see this one's got a little bit of a jagged edge, so it means I don't have it perfectly across there. But uh, you can see how it's all done here and uh that's just because we want to cut it off we don't want to we don't want to let anybody really know that we shot it that far out of level so you can do a lot of things in post so we turn that on and then we come down to brightness and contrast and normally all these things wouldn't be added i went through and actually went down to effects and i went to each one of the transitions and went ahead and uh we're working with different uh actually it's not transitions my my bad it's the uh, effects here brightness and contrast change of colors your color balances fast color correctors and what you can do is you can come in here and you can change this up quite a bit but let's just look at kind of what i did at the time and i'll mess with some of the settings so brightness and contrast normally it's set at zero but we've got it set at 15.5 so what we can do here is I'm just going to copy and paste this. But to go back and see what it, well, basically with it not on at all, it would be the same as this. So there you go. So we've added one level of brightness and contrast. And the way this works is the motion's applied first, the opaque and then your four-point garbage mass and your brightness and contrast. And you actually are stacking layers on top of layers. So you'll see that I did a brightness and contrast here. Then I did some, some uh, RGB color correction here. I did levels and I came back with brightness and contrast. So you can layer them up until you get it the way you look. So 
with this one effect here just adding the brightness and contrast there and what we did is we brought up the contrast 8 and brightness we lowered and what that does is that gets rid of all that extra say how you really can't see where the garbage mask is now the two layers there we turn it off like right here you've taken out a lot of your noise there and you set your your levels to where your <laughs> basically all the white there in your background is now gone and you match the outside and that's what you're really looking for you don't want to see all the extra you know white stuff out here and stuff like that that can also deal with the way the camera picks stuff up too so it just looks better we've already looking better so what I did went ahead and did next is I came down to RGB color corrector and this this one's kind of interesting because well I'll just flip it on real quick and see how the blues got so much brighter well that's a more accurate rendition from the uh, Aether 2's that I'm using here and what I found out is the camera doesn't show blue as well I've got some other scenes where uh, we'll actually uh, well, I'll go to that in a minute but the greens show up really good but the blues like the blues here you can see how the center part looks more blue but the edges are white uh, the camera just doesn't pick up the blues as good as the reds and greens it's something I've noticed every year I'm always having to deal with it but uh, with the RGB color corrector though we went ahead and we changed our blue gain down here so we're actually able to change it so I can come in here and you can watch, see the blues you can actually blow the whole thing out where it's way too much so you don't, you don't want to go too far and then on the other side of it if we had too much blue you can back it out to where you have no blue at all but the big thing is is you want to shoot your video um, like a stop or two low that way uh, your camera is basically out there and it's trying to figure out how to auto expose and all of a sudden it goes from black to really bright and it throws off most of your camcorders that's why you're looking for some mode like fireworks or something like that so it's anticipating hey I'm going to go from a, a black background to instant on sometimes uh, some of the best shot displays are ones that never go totally black they've got other lights on all the time so that way the camera is kind of exposing right for those and then when the other ones flash it's not a big thing to it but I still like the uh, old style method of everything goes totally dark and bring stuff on and that's harder on the camcorder so we'll go ahead and we'll hit the uh, arrow here put that back up and that's the color corrector now levels levels can do all types of things we can set where our uh, actual balance is and you, you can tell by looking over here when I do it you can see how it cuts off see now everything's a little bit brighter because I've changed where my inputs are so I'm messing with the, the white see I can go ahead and make it well that's 255 I went down to 245 but see how you can really bring out the colors and you can boost the colors up pretty much that way and with this one you've actually got a lot of different things you can do let's see here let's see if I can pull this over a little bit I try to condense everything down so I can only just see the first part of it because of the screen resolution but you can go through here and you can see this is these are all reds these are all greens and blues so you can go through and modify and you see I've modified some of these other ones here and you can see the effects over there how the blue and all that comes out and you can wash out the whole display so all right levels of course I had to play with those levels so let's see if I can go back over here and I'll just turn it off for now probably easier hold on a second here let's do a cut and let's come over here to effects and what you can do with this is you can come through and you can say okay I wanna say I put on layer 5 down here I've already got a preset when I went through because you'll have to apply these same presets to each individual part of the video because I cut them in half and all that so I can sync them all to the music and like this line here this is the actual music that's out there what I heard over the radio then I'll come in here and actually put the uh, mp3 version in here and I'll sync it all up 
So let me go back over here and add this levels back in. And let's see. Yeah, it was right there. So now we put the levels back in, and since this is a preset, it was already set from the other time. So what I'll do is I'll come down through here, and I'll drop that preset on this one. So if I go to this one, you'll see that I have all the same presets. Of course, they're opened up because I was messing with them beforehand, but they're all the same presets. So but going back to this one really quick, what we'll do is we'll look at the brightness and contrast. I'll turn that on, and you can see how it changes it somewhat it kind of boosted up some might be a little bit adding a little too much you know white in the background for it but you've got a lot of different options you can do with this so let's go over here real quick and uh, you can see how the greens are captured here and the spiral tree and everything let's see towards the end of this one I need to do is let me go to the very end, close to the end. Here we go, right here. And uh, and my kids still think it's Happy New Year time. But you can see the matrix here, and you can see how those are actually uh, meteors falling, and. Uh, Watch the matrix in this, see? Well, you can make it out there. And that, that was really quick there at the end. I was shooting a Merry and Christmas across there. But uh, once again, you can tell by looking at the snow here the, and the reflection, this is green, but it looks white. So I can come back in here and I can shoot the matrix again. I can go in here and add it on this video 2 level. And then I can come in and put a garbage mask around that other one where this is perfectly green and exposed. And uh, we won't have any issues that way at all. So, And then this is the one, the Merry Christmas we have at the end. And this is actually uh, on the matrix that's actually green. But you can't see it, so and everything that uh, is brighter than what the camera's exposed for, you're going to get the same result. It's just going to go white, and that's that's what I'm saying. You want to be able to turn your exposure down enough that you capture all the colors you want to capture accurately, and then uh, you don't want to go too dim because then you won't be able to bring it back into the detail, like the falling icicles here you won't bring that back if you're too dark because you'll be set for this. So uh, when it's all said and done, you know, if you come through and well, let me turn that back on, old pig, see? Turn this back on real quick. And uh, of course it doesn't work because I'm not on this layer. Hold on a second. This, uh, this always applies with whatever layer you've got highlighted. So the one at the beginning, I just turned all the levels off on. But see this one? That's what I originally shot, you know, and sure, it's noisy, it's bright, but see, I've got all the detail in all the trees, and granted, this is on fit right now, but I can come up to 100, and you can actually see the individual lights and everything, so, and that's why you uh, pretty much got to get that set high enough that you can get the detail and pull it out, but then you can come back and post, and we can, you know, drop all these back in here time remapping mapping wasn't on we drop all this in here and we can make it look nice and pretty and and get rid of all your background noise and everything but I believe this layer probably did the most for it yeah right there and that would be the same thing as physically changing the camera but I can come back into here if I wanted to you know pull this one particular thing out and I could actually start setting the colors exactly right in there so here we got a little bit of green but uh anyway uh that's pretty much it see the purple that's the blue and red lights firing together they look purple that's our eyes pick it up a little bit different there's the green and this wreath here is nice and green with little sparkles on it with a big red bow once again it's 
too bright but everything else is good so the easiest thing to do is go back and shoot this